In Christianity, Jesus never said that we will be many sect. He never said that only one sect will go to heaven. He never promotes sex. Sect, sorry, he never promote a, a division. He never said that one group is mine, other group not. Whoever believe in me and I will live. That is the condition of the Messiah. This is why I say always for those who divide us and they make lecturers and they spit at each other, you know, like he's a Catholic, he's spit at the Protestant or vice versa. Those are, you know, even if they are supposedly thinking that they are good people, you know, they are doing very, very ugly evil act. Because it's not your sect will save you, it's Jesus. Sect have nothing to do with the Messiah. Those who they are obsessed with sect, they are not following Jesus. They are following sect. They are defending sect. If you believe in Jesus, then you should know that no sect can save you. No bishop, no Christian prince, no pope, nobody. No Mary, no Peter, nobody. And by the way, they will find you verses. They will say to you, Jesus said, whatever Peter he write, you know, like he put down, is going to be written in heaven. That is to give him authority to establish the church. This is not about he is in charge of who go to heaven who is not. It's only, the judge only is the Messiah. There's no other judge. The disciple of Jesus themselves, they have to confess their sin. That's what the Bible says. They write letters to each other. They say, brother, let us confess sin to each other. So, we knew who is our Savior. And we don't care how many sect there is. And I will never follow a sect. Because the second I follow a sect, I am not following the Messiah. I follow the opinion of a man. And maybe this man is even maybe evil. He is trying to, you know, just control my mind, my pocket, my money, uh, give us donation. You know, he want to make himself like he is the center to replace Jesus. There is many religious men, or let's say religion is their business, they try to replace the Messiah to be the center of faith. And you forget who is your Lord and who is your Savior. Avoid those people. There is nobody will save you except Him. Uh, the Savior for Peter is the Messiah. The Savior of Paul is the Messiah. The Savior of every human being is the Messiah. So if you think that there is somebody else can save you, you are a fool. The only thing make you a true Christian is believing in the Messiah, that he is God's Son who came to this earth for the sake of saving us. He died on the cross. He is coming back. You believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And then if you believe in that, you are a Christian. If you believe Jesus was an angel, all this madness, you are not a Christian. Angel cannot save you. Only divine God can save because the decision of who is going to go to heaven, who is going to go to hell, is in the hand of God. And the Messiah, he made it clear that all of this is given to me from my Father. Over the flesh, I am the judge. So, I advise always people not to be the same as the Muslims because look what happened. Even in history, when a Christian, they go after a sect, what they do, they kill each other. They become like Muslims. In certain time, the Christians, they were killing each other. And instead of worshiping Jesus and being peaceful, people of God who love peace, they start attacking each other. Very dark ages. The same as Muhammad and his followers. This is what happened when you follow the man, the sect leader. But when you follow God, there is no way you are going to take a sword and kill a brother of yours who believe in Jesus as your Lord, as your Savior. Even if he's wrong, there's no way I'm going to kill him.
if he don't believe in the Messiah, then he is no Christian. If he don't believe that the Messiah is the Savior, he is no Christian. But if you have an icon, okay, well, okay, even if I believe it's an icon is wrong, but still that does not make him not a Christian. I do wrong too. You do wrong too. At least when he did that wrong, he do it because he loved the Lord, not because he's a bad person. The wrong I do, it make me bad. If the wrong he did is about having a picture, well, the picture present the person he love, which is for the Lord. He is even he is wrong, but he still he his wrong is better than mine. What about the wrong we do for location and uh, jealousy and uh, you know temptation and money and gossip and lying and you name it? We don't want to be the same as the Pharisees, who they see the little one. The little one they can see. They go after you for the little one, but the weak one, the camel, they make the camel go in the thread when they want. We cannot unite with the Muslims because Muslims worship different God, same as Mormon and those, you know, like Jehovah's Witnesses. Those are not, they are not believers, you know. Those are satanic. Those are satanic belief. And we can prove it easy that they are satanic. But uh, but we as a Christians, always I advise you always uh, you know avoid even to associate with somebody. He do division. Doesn't matter what a church he go to. He is a Protestant. He is a Catholic. Stay away from them because they will make hate your heart. Remember, Christianity is against hatred. When we speak against Islam, not because we hate Muslims but because we hate the hate of Islam. That is a good hate. You hate the hate, which means you refuse hate. We are not against Islam because we hate Muslims. This is another reason. So if you are going to follow a priest, he starts spitting at other person just because he's from different church, well, he is not a priest. And this is not how Christians act. If I know somebody is wrong, I want to convince him that he's wrong in understanding the verse in the Bible. Is that by spitting at him? Is that by calling him bastard, whatever name? Or by saying to him, okay, let's read together. Either you convince me or I convince you. You know, even the disciple of Jesus, they send letters to each other to discuss about what to agree, what not to agree. Nobody spit at anybody. So always we have to be vigilant and we have to be smart. Otherwise, we will follow the trend. You know, and uh, the devil is waiting for us for division. The whole world is divided. So what you see, the Messiah, he says, if the if the salt is damaged, how we can give a flavor to this, you know, to the food, to the earth. You are the salt of the earth. So what kind of salt the salt will be? This salt, in order to be accepted, it have to be clean, white, pure, no sand in it, no dirt in it, no hatred, no evil. Because if you have any of those, Instead of being salt, you will become poison. And always hatred kill its own hater. Because you cannot even imagine anything around you without seeing hatred. So if you hate somebody as a Catholic, just because he's a Catholic, I mean, you, you are not even alive. You are the same as Muslims. You became evil. Why you hate him? Where is Christ on you? So you go around and you tell people, you know, Jesus says, love your enemy, and then you hate a Christian? Oh, he's not a Christian, he's a Catholic. No, he's a Christian. Protestants are Christians. Orthodox are Christians. All those three schools are Christians because the Christian is the one who believes in Jesus as Savior. If you notice all the differentiation between them, you will see how silly, how stupid it is.
This is why I say that those who they are fighting together about so-called faith between them, they are silly, either they are stupid, or they are evil, or they are seeking their own glory to make a gang. People who love Jesus, not only they praise Jesus by their mouth, they praise you for having you as a brother. And when you are wrong, they just rebuke you, but they will not spit at you. They will not cast stones at you. They will try to help you to understand. If you decide to become a believer, then we will not associate with you. As simple as that. But you don't save a person by throwing rocks, by calling names. So unity, my friend, is a medicine for everything. Actually, you see, everything in life is about unity. If a man, what is marriage in Christianity? Unity. Why in Islam they don't have unity? This is why everything is upside down. When your marriage is not a unity, you don't have a marriage no more. What unity mean? Unity mean I don't feel like my wife is different person. I feel like we are one. We are one in good. We are one in bad, which means when we are healthy, wealthy, we are happy together. And when we go down, we stay together. We are poor. We are sick. We are hungry. We still stay together. We don't leave each other. We are loyal. Why? Because we are in unity with God. So unity with God will make you a powerful person. When you lose the unity, you lost everything. Not only unity with others, even unity with yourself. You see, every one of us, he have multi-person. It's true. You have a person inside you who want to sleep with women. You have other person inside you who says this is wrong. You have a person inside you who want to have more money. You have a person inside you who says, you know what, I'm okay. I mean, what money will do to me? I'm fine now. There's a person inside you, he's jealous. He's a friend, he have a big house. You don't have a big house. He want to have that house. Or maybe you have a wife, you want to take his wife. You're willing even to kill him so you can get the wife. You have many person inside you. And all those person inside you, they can disappear if your person is in unity with God. Because then none of them will, will appear to you. The cheater person inside you will not appear. Will not even dare. The liar person inside you will not dare to lie. The second you lose your unity with the Lord, you are doomed. How many people they threaten me to kill me every day? If you are me, maybe you will be worried about even walking in the street. I don't care. I fear nobody. For a very simple reason. I am a believer and I have a unity with my faith and my Lord. For I believe that the one who gave me my life, whatever my life will be, today or after death, is going to be with the Lord. When you have unity, you have no fear.